morning, everyone. Hopefully this will come out. Do, do, do. Oh, my production value. It's so amazing. Okay. I wanted to be hands-free for a minute on this one. This is important. Hopefully you will be able to hear me. My voice will be clear. No drama. What? No drama? Yeah, that's part of the ego. I want to talk about the ego for a minute. I wrote some stuff down last night. Whew. I had some serious downloading going on last night, just after midnight, just actually at one o'clock, which is kind of how it's been going for me. <clears throat> a lot of times my videos, <laughs> sorry, a lot of times my videos are in the daytime and it's usually spontaneous, boom, I just have an idea, a thought, and I just jump at it and start talking on um, camera. Lately I've been getting downloads in the middle of the night where I get ideas and thoughts and shooting around in my head and last night was a good one kept me up for a minute and every time I thought I was done with the downloads getting ready to go back to sleep snuggling another one would hit me and I'm like damn that's good so I'd have to write it down so I was writing down some stuff <clears throat> but I want to talk about the ego but first hang on production value okay <clears throat> for those of you that want to go to the desert this is a gallon of crystal geyser water it cost me 99 cents down on the bottom of the hill at Food for Less. Up here at Chiriaca Summit, it's five bucks. Okay, that being said, I saved me, what, 125 bucks? If I'd have bought the same gallon, the same amount of water up here, it would have been 150 bucks compared to 25 bucks. So keep that in mind if you're going to the desert, stock up on water wherever the hell you're at, and if you think you've got too much, add five more gallons. That's how much water you want to have coming to the desert. Okay, <clears throat> that's a great tip. Plus, pork and beans, a great supplement if, you, if you're out in the wilds. Throw some spices in it, some jalapenos, some onions, and it's beautiful. Or just eat it plain out of the can. Another thing would be, would be instant oatmeal, those little packets. Grab as many as you can, those things are priceless. Great protein, they give them the horses when they run the Kentucky Derby so uh, yeah put that in mind okay let's talk about the ego oh the egos are running rampant people I want to talk about TikTok for a second horrible social platform completely low vibration um, shallow crap believe me I don't look at me I mean what is that shit seven seconds of dancing or you know it's 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 very very self-absorbed very vain Remember that, so no TikTok, stop that shit. Nasty. Anyway, um, that's part of the ego because that feeds the ego, feeding it. Look at me, look at me. Okay, not that, you know, I don't want people to look at me, but I'm trying to do some knowledge here. Let's throw out knowledge and that's a good looking at you, right? Okay, let's work on that. Okay, the ego, it will always be there. It's kind of like the drunk. You're always gonna be an alcoholic. You know what I'm talking about if you go to AAA, or AAA, <laughs> you go to A meetings, and they can be rough. I've been to a couple to support my brother. And Lord have mercy. Don't judge when you're there, but good God. When you get in that round table, you start hearing people's stories. It just, it gives you the creeps at some points. I, I got very fortunate to, to get an extra special one where this one gentleman was a drug dealer and he was getting other people's daughters as payment. He was, yeah, and he was prostituting him. Yeah, I was getting, I was creeped out by this motherfucker. But then again, you're not supposed to judge. This is, it's like a confession to a priest. So God bless him. Hopefully he found Jesus because good Lord. Anyway, um, the ego, it's always going to be there, babe. No matter, I got it, you got it, we all got it. The trick that the ego wants you to think is that you killed it. Remember there's, they call it the ego death. These super, these spiritualists and the gurus and all these other things, they talk about the death of the ego. Ego don't die. It's kind of like the devil. You know, the biggest trick the devil ever pulled on humanity is to make them think he don't exist. Exactly. The ego wants you to think it don't exist. It's, you've conquered the ego. Yay, you're amazing. He's still sleeping. He's still hanging out in the back, waiting for you to slip up. And that's where you go, just hang out with the guru who says he's got an ego death and he's cool. Just have, just sit in the car with him, poking at him. Are we there yet? He'd be like, no, we're not there yet, man. We've got an hour. Are we there yet? With it, priest goes, son of a bitch. It's like, yeah, yeah. So the ego will show up, babe. No matter how cool and calm you think you are, the ego's gonna be there, babe. So you gotta watch out for the ego. I wanna talk about 
Another really, there's really good quotes that I wanted to throw out there. The first one is history is a set of agreed upon lies, basically. And another wonderful saying is organized religion is the only thing that keeps the poor from ripping the rich to pieces. Think about that for a second. I'm not talking about spirituality like I feel and you feel when we feel love for the universe and the God. I'm talking about organized, sitting on your ass in buildings where they, you know, you, you know what I mean? Organized. They're there to lull the poor into, into just being supple and, you know, being good Christians or Muslims or whatever and just do what you're told. Mind your P's and Q's. And here's another thing how you know it's bullshit. If you're an organized religion and you start talking shit about governments, saying how horrible and evil they are, guess what the IRS is going to do? They're going to give you a call and say, guess what? Your exempt status is gone. You're no longer a nonprofit. And all that money, you're going to be paying back since you opened up that building. And somebody's going to jail. Does that sound like religious freedom to you? No, it's not. That's why there's all kinds of cons going on in the world. Organized religion is one of them, babe. Don't be involved. What I tell, what I preach is simple: self-love. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Because when you love yourself, you ain't gonna be fooled by nobody, no books, no preachers, no cons, no bullshit. You're gonna be so in love with yourself that you're gonna want everybody else to feel that good. And you can't go wrong when you love yourself. It's that simple. So love yourself and be strong and be wise. And you know, there's a song. Anyway, <clears throat> what else do I want to talk about real quick? I got some good stuff going on. Yeah. And my problem is, as I know, I still got ego. Trust me. Because as much as I want to be love and light and, and, and hug everybody, I still got that urge to put foot in ass when I come across a, somebody I really think is would be really beneficial to have an, a foot in their ass. So that's a good tale of the ego still exists. When you're still willing to whoop somebody's ass because you know they're bad. Like I said, I don't do that. I think it's anti-productive. And I, you know, as a pacifist and an empath, causing other human beings pain actually gives me pain. I mean, I'm, there's some people I would take that pain if I could whoop their ass. You know what I'm talking about. There's some... <coughs> oh, yeah. Fauci. Oh, yeah. I, I don't hit women, but Pelosi could use a big bold foot in her ass. I'm just saying. And there's another thing. You gotta understand how the, that one saying as far as organized religion keeps the poor from ripping the rich to pieces. Think about the French Revolution. Those people were dragged out into the street and beheaded in public. Gory is, I can't, I can't imagine the gore. But these poor, starving human beings were so enamored of the scene at the time that they were cheering in ecstasy at these people being slaughtered because these people were so cruel to these poor. Keep that in mind, Washington, D.C., because these poor in the world, they're going to take this shit much longer. Australia, I don't know what the hell you people are doing down there, locking people up, putting people in camps because they're unvaccinated. Oh, my God. Like I said, organized religion is the only thing keeping the poor from rip ripping the rich to pieces. Think about that for a minute. Mm -hmm. And some people are due. It ain't my place. I live in love and light. If you're positive and you love yourself, you're going to rise above it. But at the same time, I would not be one of them Tibetan monks when the, the Maoists came through and just dragged them out of their temples and put bullets in their heads. Just sh executed them. Just, I would have been up on that hill throwing rocks down on them sons of bitches. Throw enough rocks. They can't shoot you up there. Just throw some rocks till all, they're all knocked the fuck out. Go get all their guns and now you got something to start with. Protect yourself. I believe in self-protection. I do. I just, I, the, it always hurt my heart when I'd see the movies when the priest would go out and like, oh, don't hurt nobody. And then they kill the priest. I'm like, son of a bitch. Why didn't you fight back, dude? God gives you, you know, you God gives you free will. That's all I'm going to say. God gives everyone free will to make choices and decisions in their life, good and bad. Hopefully they're all for the good. Zoro was a good example. He was... I'm sure he was a pacifist, but he was seen enough suffering. He said, fuck it, I'm going to get up a blade and start putting some Z's in somebody's ass, right? So, same thing with Robin Hood. He wasn't killing them so much as he was robbing the rich and giving the money right back to the poor. That's always something to think about, people. Always something to inspire to. Oh, and for those of you that are watching that wanted to donate money to me, 
I appreciate it. Let that shit go. But what I will say is if you really feel the need to be generous, and it is important, I don't want to stifle anybody's generosity. Go out into your community, find somebody who's struggling. You don't have to find the person that you know is con in every day of their life and that just got a hundred bucks in their pocket every five minutes. I'm talking about somebody who's really, really down and out. Buy them a blanket, get them some water, buy them a McDonald's meal, I don't know, something, anything to help people out around you. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Love and light. Whew. I think this was a good video. Anyway, have a wonderful day. I'm hoping this thing was recording and you could hear the audio pretty good despite the, you know, stuff going on. I love you. God loves you. And the universe is still digging you, babe. And keep up the good work. Keep the high ground, which means you have to be kind and loving. But don't take no shit either. That's where you, that's where you keep the high ground. You know what I'm saying? Don't let somebody kick you off that high ground because they, they don't deserve it. You deserve the high ground. So keep it. Live in love, love yourself, I love you, I'm a flirt, I don't care. Have a wonderful day, bye-bye. And there's the sunrise, yay!